Hello, my name is Malachi with Cosplay Powers, and I'm going to be showing you how to do the Professor X Thought Displacement Map using no other than Wurble, the Wurble app. All right, so we're going to go to Circle Waves, and then what we're going to do is line up the Circle Waves. I'm going to pick this one here, and then what we're going to do is go to the Blending Mode, and we're going to use a Displace. And then once we add the displace, we're gonna use some blur. So I wanna blur this quite a bit, but we're not done just yet. So let's go back to the blending mode. Actually, yeah, hmm. Maybe we should blur it more. All right, yeah, let's, let's go back to blending. We'll go ahead and turn this down, turn the opacity down quite a bit. So that way you can still see Professor Xavier's face and then what we're gonna do next, is we're gonna add, let's add some lens flare to this. Or yeah, yeah, let's add this to it. That's gonna give it more of a polished feel. So we've got a little bit of a lens, a lens distortion flare there happening underneath the, just the placement map. And then, I'm gonna see, what else can we add to this? I mean, you guys are probably thinking like, well, this is, we're pretty much done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the cool thing about this effect, you can use this on like Black Canary. You can use this at like someone that screams very loud. I'm gonna add a light look here. That'll add a little bit of a, you know, a texture to it, like something that's flickering or gives more volume to it. But yeah, you can use this type of effect, not just on Professor X. Actually, you know what? You can actually use this with Spider-Man um, with his spider senses. So if you want to give your character like a spider sense, you can definitely use this effect on that too. Uh, the cool thing about these tutorials, they're not just for the character that I'm, you know, using it for, but I'm also making these tutorials that you can use for other characters. So if you cosplay as Spider-Man, this is the perfect spider sense effect that you can use in your photos. Um, so what I'm going to do now is kind of make his hand move a little bit. So have his hand going left to right. Just want to make sure that it's not distorting the left side of the frame. So I'm fixing that. Then I'm going to have his hand kind of move a little bit subtle. You really, when you're using pulse effects, you really want to make sure that they're very subtle. So that's why I keep my range very sh small. And then what we're going to do next here is we're going to kind of fix his elbow to kind of move as well. Uh, you can use offset to kind of make it work a little bit even, you know, make it work better, but this is actually looking pretty, pretty good actually. So his hand is kind of like moving back and forth, elbows moving with his hand, with his right hand, his left elbow. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of his torso moving. So we kind of have this torso, hand, elbow effect happening all at the same time. And the crazy thing about this is that this is just an image and we're adding so much motion to this image to make it really work. It's kind of it's kind of intriguing. Um, taking a photo, which is our, already an amazing thing. Like some people don't give enough credit to photography and it's amazing what you can capture in a just one still image and then taking that image and then adding wearable on top of it. It's just, it's just it's just gonna blow people away. So let's go into video leaf really quick. So I'm gonna add one last effect. And basically this effect is a chromatic displacement too. So as you can see here, I'm using the prism filter and that has now distorted the whole image to give that intense effect. And that is it guys and gals. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I check all my DMs. Hope you all have a great, awesome day. Take care, guys.